Hi Cakers! I'm going to share this super cute cake with you today. It's a movie theme complete with caramel popcorn. I love caramel popcorn. I think everybody does. And so we're going to enjoy this delicious cake and show you how we made it. Now the first part of this cake is to make our little clapboard where we're going to place our birthday boy's name. So I'm going to take out some black fondant, add some tylose to it, and I'm going to roll and cut out a square shape. Now you don't want to go too thin on this because it does need to stay slightly upright. Coming along, just making it a little bit smaller, one direction. And then I'm going to simply take an X-Acto or craft knife, go down a bit less than a centimetre, probably about a quarter of an inch. And then we're just going to allow this to dry. Once that's dried, I'm going to cut out some letters for our birthday boy's name. I've gone with some little cookie cutters for this one because the name's fairly short. If you have a longer name, you might decide that you want to pipe it with royal icing instead. And we're going for a fair bit thinner this time and then just cut out all of your letters, give them a little wriggle. And I'm just going to use the end of a paintbrush just to gently pop out all of our letters. Now I like to line them up first before I put any sugar glue on just so that I can get the spacing of each letter right. Once I have that I just take a little bit of sugar glue and just lifting up the letters very carefully in a few spots. Attach some glue and then pop them back down. I'm rolling out a longer piece and I'm going to use that to make our little arrow shapes at the top of the clipboard. Okay, so now we have our long bit of fondant. I'm going to cut it up into some smaller sections. We're going to need six in total. And basically they go like little arrows. So I'm going to line them up, see if I can get nice three in there. And then take our sugar glue as well as a little craft knife and we'll just trim up the edges. And again attach with some sugar glue. Now I'm just going to allow this to dry. So while our clapboard is resting, we're going to get started on our cake. Um, I've baked a giant cupcake in a cup, giant cupcake pan, and I'm just going to layer it a little bit and then stack it up and do a crumb coat first. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take off the very, very top just to make it a little bit more level. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a filling layer in. Now while I'm still cutting, for this particular one, I just wanna change the shape of this dome just a touch. So I'm gonna start by taking off the top, and then I'm just gonna shave it down and get rid of this excess, just so that there's not quite as much gap between the base and the top. So now I'm going to take a turntable, I just like to use these because it's nice and easy, and a cake plate. And we're going to start to stack and to fill our cakes. A little bit of buttercream down, and then we're going to take the first part of our cake. Okay, taking the second half of our cake, pop that on top. And we'll do the same again for our second layer. And brush off any little crumbs that might want to fluff off the cake and then we're just going to set that on top. Taking some buttercream and we're just going to do a nice little crumb coat on the whole cake and that will help to seal it in so that it won't dry out from this point on. 
And I find with these cakes, I like to try and keep the very, very top um, uncrumbed for as long as possible, just to give myself a little spot to hold on to. Now that it's out of the fridge, it's time to get a good coat on this. So we're just gonna do the base. We're not gonna worry about the top because we don't want that to be done until we're ready to put our popcorn on. And once we've got it all on there, we're just gonna come back and scrape it with our little scraper here, remembering to keep it at a slight angle. So we just want to keep it so that the bottom is a little bit skinnier than the top. And because we're using this beautiful buttercream, we can go ahead now and cover it with fondant straight away. So now I'm rolling out some white fondant. Um, I've already pre-measured my cake a little bit earlier before it had the buttercream on. And I need it to be about four inches high and at its widest point at the top, it's around 20 inches around. So I wanna make it a little bit wider or taller than four inches because I wanna make a slight arc in this to make it easier to cover. If any of you have watched our flower pot class where I do the same wrapping technique but in modeling chocolate, um, you'll know that I just wanna give it a little bit of help to do the curve from tall, wider to skinnier. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick measure and we've got no problems there. So what I'm gonna do is just cut along the sides, create a slight arc, and then I'll come and back and measure it. So we need our top section to be around 20 inches, which is, I'll go for about 21 just to be on the safe side. And then I'm gonna measure up about four and a half because I'd rather have too much than too little. Okay, now I'm going to use a slightly smaller rolling pin. It's one of the larger ones that I use um, for doing sugar flowers and for small work. And I'm just gonna roll it up on that. I'm gonna pop this up here. We can let go of that. Try not to get as messy as I do with the buttercream. And we're just gonna press it up against the side of the cake. trying to make the bottom line up. Okay, now coming over, so we can see we've got a good overlap. Just gonna rub and press it onto the cake. Okay, now I'm gonna take a craft knife and I'm just gonna trim it back to where they join. So I can see where the dent is. Just slowly and gradually cut through that. Okay, and just press those together. Now, I'm just gonna cut off this bit because it's hanging around, but I'm just going to give a bit of a press, get a feel for where the top of the cupcake is, and then we're just going to trim around. If you're worried, just cut off a little bit less and you can always keep coming back. Now this is where you can take an assortment of smoothing pads, whatever you like to use, to smooth it. Now, you probably all know that I love the Valerie White Black Smoothers. I'm gonna use her little one um, just to go around and press and make sure that the fondant is attaching well to the buttercream. Now I'm rolling out some red to make our stripes. Um, I have using a laminating sheet, which if you've watched any of our lessons, you know I love these things. Um, and I like them because something like this, you have to make quite a few of these. And with cake decorating, sometimes the longest things are little things like this where you can't make it in a big batch. They'll dry out and they'll crack before you get them on. Get yourself a laminating sheet from um, an office supply place. And then that way you can use that don't laminate it obviously, leave it as like a little pocket. And it's the handiest thing that I've found to protect your fondant so that you can do big sections and then chop them all up. So now I'm using a multi-ribbon cutter. If you don't have one of these, you can use a pizza cutter and just measure across. Um, all the measurements are in the materials list down below, so check that out. 
and I'm just going to roll and make some more stripes. I only need a few more. I cut the bottom off and I just want to make them about four inches or so. Now taking some sugar glue, you can either use sugar glue or clear alcohol to do this step. We want to come along and just put some glue onto the cake itself. Now we know that we want to put a stripe where our seam is because we want to hide that and then we're just going to come along touching the bottom and slowly going up and giving it a little trim on top. And then we just want to come over a little ways, paint our sugar glue again and then attaching. And now that we've put our stripes on, we can get ready to put the roping on the top. To do our rope border, I'm gonna be using a clay extruder. Um, I absolutely love these for doing rope things. You can buy them at the craft stores. They're around 20 or $30. Um, this one, I actually paid a little bit more than that for because it's really, really good. It's Macon's brand and I love it. Um, and basically what you need to do is just roll a little sausage of fondant, pop it in, break off your excess, and I'm just using the largest circle that they have. And you just twist. And now we're just gonna apply a little bit of sugar glue to the top. Okay, now slowly and gently rest it coming around and when you reach the end you just want to give it a little snip where is it with your craft knife now our last step and our most fun step is just to add a thicker coat to our buttercream and then apply all of our delicious caramel popcorn And now it's time to start sprinkling. So starting at the base and we're just gonna work our way up and around. We can place our clapboard on now that it's completely dry and that's it, we have our movie cake. If you have a cake idea that you would like to see us create, leave a comment below. Um, you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and you can leave us messages on what you would like to see in our next lesson.